In spring 2008, the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine gave $272 million to fund 12 research facilities in California. That investment leveraged private donations and institutional matching funds to create a $1.1 billion infusion into the California economy. UCSF had a press conference to announce a major donation. But we're also so thrilled to announce here today, as you've heard earlier, that Eli and Edie Broad Foundation is going to contribute $25 million uh, to uh, finish this uh, research building here in the lab, and this is a great, great contribution. We knew that our private foundation and other foundations could leverage state dollars to create a biomedical capital here in California that would draw the best scientists from around the world, and we have. We've built this building in order to foster collaboration. So instead of a vertical building, it's horizontal because people will travel much further in the same level than they will in a vertical dimension to interact. We put areas for people to congregate in areas just off of the main traffic stream where these different floors join. And so we really expect this building to foster the kind of collaboration that we think is going to drive this field faster and quicker. These collaborations are a common goal of the new facilities, which were all designed to unite stem cell researchers who might otherwise be dispersed across large campuses. So right now at Berkeley, we do have a very active effort within stem cells, but by virtue of the fact that it's taking place across a large number of departments and colleges, currently the stem cell investigators are geographically scattered throughout the campus. And this makes it difficult for us to communicate with one another, for our group members to communicate with one another, to share equipment with one another, and as a result, the research simply moves slower. So the Lee Cushing Center for Biomedical Sciences is going to be a new building on the northwest corner of campus, and it's going to be a 200,000 square foot project, which is going to bring together researchers not only in stem cells, but also in cancer, neuroscience, and infectious disease. Of that 200,000 square feet of space, 59,000 square feet is going to be devoted to stem cell research. The research groups themselves, the postdoctoral researchers and technicians and graduate students, are going to be bumping into each other constantly. And as a result of this, they're actually going to, I believe, spark a large number of collaborations that the principal investigators may not have even been able to envision. To keep stem cell research moving quickly, the new facilities all include equipment that might not otherwise be available on campus. So there's some very important new capabilities that are going to be part of our CIRM Center uh, that we simply don't have at Berkeley right now. For example, high throughput fluorescence imaging capabilities we don't have to a very large extent on campus. So in order to be able to conduct studies that involve this type of equipment, we simply need to find another investigator off the campus or hope to find another investigator off the campus. And now we'll be able to greatly accelerate these studies by virtue of the fact that we have these facilities within our center. And this is critically important for us to be able to make progress in controlling the process of taking a stem cell and directing its differentiation or specialization into an important cell type that would benefit a patient. With new space comes new researchers, new employees, and so I think that this is going to result in a significant increase in the number of employees and the number of people working in biomedical research on the Berkeley campus. And a good deal of the momentum in stem cell research here in California has come with the advent of the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine. Thanks in part to them, we have recruited 16 highly talented stem cell research scientists to our program in the last few years. Because scientists and doctors and all these people came from all over the world right here to California. There's a hundred million dollars of economic activities that have already taken place in California just because of this research. So there's a stem cell research we can reduce healthcare costs also by billions and billions of dollars by curing even just one major illness. It offers so much potential in, to millions of people who suffer from spinal cord injuries, uh, from diabetes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, and the list goes on and on.